Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. Some new McFarlane toys were revealed in the last couple days, and as such, there is some pre-order action going up as well. So as always, I'll have all the pre-order links down below, thanks for using my links. They'll help the channel to grow. So we'll just jump right into it. San Diego Comic Con starts next week. I'm sure we'll get some more reveals as well, especially the 14th and the 15th of this month, too, right before Comic Con starts. But, you know, they gotta tease us a little bit, especially with the new Static Shock. Now, I'm gonna be 100% honest here and tell you that my ideal Static Shock is the one that is in the photograph right there, right? So perhaps maybe one day they will give us that version. But for the time being, Virgil Hawkins takes on his new 52 look. And it's just okay. I don't really care for the head sculpt, to be quite honest with you. A lot of stuff is off. The costume itself looks like it walked right out of the comic book. So that's okay. He's got his powers. It looks like he has his... I guess it's like a honeycomb disc kind of thing now, whereas I'm used to like a manhole cover for Static Shock. I was more so into the animated series than the Milestone Comics version of Static Shock. So that's really where my info comes from. But here he is all packaged up. Again, if you'd like to pre-order him, you can do so now. And then we have this guy. <laughs> And when they initially showed the promo image, everyone was like, yes, that's amazing. Well, I don't think a lot of people read the source material because they kept telling everyone, I'm like, you know, th it's it's basically Superman, like 300 Superman, we'll say, in a Princess Leia chainmail bikini in so many ways. I don't necessarily know if, uh, if the figure is, is going to come out 100% uh, looking like this or maybe it'll be uh, a little bit better in hand. You know what I mean? We'll have to see. He does have a really nice swooshed cape to him. That's cool. He's got a bunch of weapons. Shield. It's a interesting looking Superman. I am interested in it. Whether or not it comes out looking as good as it does in the promo photos and such, we'll have to see. The legs do look a little bit long. He looks a little disproportionate in some sense. It's an odd Superman, right? So this one, I'll totally have to wait until I have it in hand to make the final judgment call. And speaking of judgment calls, we'll just say, when I saw the press images for this guy, I was like, oh, it's a new Mortal Kombat character. No, unbeknownst to me, this is the Infinite Frontier Scarecrow. I have not seen this version of the Scarecrow before. I thought... Okay, maybe they're doing the whole Batman anime Japanese thing. I, who knows? I don't know. But, yeah, this is the Infinite Frontier version of Jonathan Crane, who looks like he fell into a thrift store. And I'll give it to him. He is interesting looking. There's a lot of different textures going on. He does kind of carry over features from the Arkham Knight video games with the hand needles and everything else. To me, the face gets lost in the design. It looks like he's like got the classic Scarecrow mask, but then he also has the gas mask option i'm really all over the place with this figure much like the figure itself to be honest with you i think a lot more paint a lot more breaking up of the sculpt would have really benefited it again how it looks at hand remains to be seen it's an odd design and don't get me wrong it's a cool looking design in some ways but to me it just doesn't scream scarecrow whatsoever so that's gonna wrap it up for my look at three of the brand new upcoming dc multiverse figures from mcfarland toys not a single batman on this list right high five we finally did it and again as i'll say if you need any of these figures you can pre-order them using my affiliate links below and you've heard my thoughts and so now i'm curious to know yours comment below let me know let's talk everything dc multiverse and i'm gonna leave you guys with that as always drink some great coffee eat some great food but most importantly remember Here's hoping that the 14th and 15th of this month throw off a bunch of new figures. And we got Comic-Con next week to boot. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.